Welcome, everybody. This is Lord Kiarth, and welcome to Asmodea City. I will be your guide for this adventure, and this is going to be a quick one. Uh, today, we are talking about the alternative pause text for Foundry. Now, this is really just an aesthetic uh, thing, if you will, for uh, your players to see, but it's actually very cool, and we did it, and we kind of like it, so we thought we'd share it with you. So let's talk about the Foundry Virtual Tabletop alternate pause text right after this. Welcome, adventurer, to Asmodea. All right, welcome back everyone. And as always, let me ask you if you have not already done so, and so many of you have now, you're, you're, we're growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the, the like button and do send us a comment. You know, as a matter of fact, um, I have a specific question for uh, this group of, of viewers. And that is, do you really try to uh, kind of aesthetically update your server for your players. And what I mean by that is by adding things like you'll see here in uh, my screen, I'm using the D&D 5e uh, UI screen uh, for the icons. Uh, we're about to talk about the alternative text. Uh, but do you guys really, do you, do you use that? And just, if you wouldn't mind just kind of hitting you know, down below and just kind of saying, yes, I do. And here's what I use or, or whatever, or no, I don't, or whatever. That'd be awesome. I would appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, also I want to make sure that I remind you that we have a discord server that is also growing by leaps and bounds, which is, uh, you'll find, and this is the browser URL, not the server URL. It is discord.asmodea.com. If you just put that into your browser, discord.asmodea.com, You'll, uh, it will take you to our server. It will launch Discord for you if you don't have it launched already. And uh, you can then go ahead and join our server. We would really appreciate it, especially for those of you that are more experienced players. Um, it would be awesome for you to help out the less experienced players because they have questions often. And I think it's awesome for us to be able to support them as a community. I think it's great. So. Uh, that's there. And then lastly, I am going to push my shameless plug, which is for startplaying.games. And you'll notice it's .games, not .com. Startplaying.games. And you'll find me there as DM Lee. And you'll see where I have uh, adventures that are uh, being run there. I am relatively, I should say, not so much now, but relatively new to that platform. I never really bothered to put myself out on some of these platforms before because I had so many games that I was already running anyway. Um, but uh, this is a cool platform. It's it's nice that it 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 kind of blends uh, those that are looking for games with uh, those that are running games. And uh, in my particular case, I tend to kind of cater mostly to the beginners uh, because I love teaching uh, new people how to play D&D. So that's my shameless plug. All right, let's get into this, uh, shall we? Now, you'll notice on my screen here, we have the, the standard kind of uh, this, this game paused uh, text and uh, image that are at the bottom here. But what if we want to kind of brand this to ourselves? And, and it's, it's actually super simple. So if I, I, I'm going to go up here to manage modules on the right here. And you'll see I have already installed this one module called Alternative Pause Text. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to turn that on and then save it. It will should reload. There we go. Uh, okay. So now you'll notice that immediately it changes to this. I, I'm, I'm assuming that's German. <laughs> uh, and, and honestly, I believe the... Uh, creator of this this plugin or this module, I should say, it's, keep saying plugin. It's really a module. Uh, is German, I would guess, based on 
uh, some of the information that you'll see in a second. But uh, let's go ahead and go up to here in configure settings on, on the right side here. And we'll go to module settings up here. And then you'll see alternative pause text. So the only option here is to hit the button. And I'm pretty sure that this is German uh, just because of, of what I'm reading. And, and you know, I, I, I wish I could speak German. I, re I really do. I, I kind of like it. But uh, so what, what I do is I usually just delete this. And I just put, uh, we will begin, whoops, momentarily. Okay, I put that in as the text. And, and let's just kind of, let's do this one piece at a time. So now you'll see, we will begin momentarily. Now that's, that's it's pretty big. And if you prefer that it's a, a bit smaller, we'll come back in here to the settings. And you'll see uh, this is the font size for uh, that that particular font that's here. And also here's the color, so you can change this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of make this match us a little more. Actually, I want to make that a little more yellow. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna make that match us a little more. So there's there's a and and I hope you could see that. Could you? Can you, can you actually see that? No. Darn it. I don't know why OBS doesn't want to do that. I'm using OBS to record this, but uh, unfortunately I'm using a color picker here and you can't see it and I wish you could, but uh, either which way I'm selecting this color here and uh, I'm going to change this font down to, I, I, I'm going to make it three. And so we can see what the uh, effect is on that. And I'm changing it to this yellow color that you see here. All right. So I'm going to click on save, it'll reload, and there we go. Now you notice this text got bigger, right? And I kind of noticed this on my own as well, um, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done this. So uh, if I go back into the settings, and I'm going to change this font size to 1, and I'm going to save it, and there you go. So now uh, that, to me is a bit small um i i that's just my preference is that it's a bit small by comparison so i'm going to go ahead and put it back to two and we'll set that to two there and now you will notice that there are a couple of options as well to upload a uh an icon so you can you can You'll see up here at the top, that's the default, which is the clockwork icon that's there. Now, if you have an icon that you want to upload on your own, uh, you can click on that. If it's already here, uh, I don't think I have it here. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, it's the Asmodea A only PNG, right? So I'm going to select that. And... I'll click on select file. And now again, we've changed the the font size to two. We've made it yellow. We've made this, we will begin momentarily. And the opacity uh, for, and, and I don't know why it's his name after all these, but the opacity is uh, for the opacity of the uh, kind of background of the, the text that's here. So when I click on that, you'll see it's now at about a 50% opacity. We set that text to two, and you'll notice there is my icon, which is our A for Asmodea. Now, for me, that's a little small, so I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to edit this one more time. And I am going to, you'll see the dimension is 128 by 128. I'm going to make this 256, oh, not 251, 256 by 256 that may be a bit large but we'll see and you'll see also there is this speed option which is the speed at which the item rotates that you see there right so and and here is if you want a shadow behind the text and you can turn that off so let's just turn that off for now uh so here we go and you'll notice that 
shadow is gone, but you'll notice my uh, icon is huge at this point, right? Uh, so, you know, I mean, maybe that's fine. It, and, and actually, I guess there, there isn't really a problem with that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change again the option. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. I'm going to change the option here of the shadow because I want the shadow back. And I'm also going to change the speed down to four. I think it's just rotating too fast for me. And uh, I'm going to change the opacity of the, and it says name, but it, uh, the opacity here of the icon. Well, this is icon opacity. So maybe that's fair. Uh, maybe it is the icon itself that we're talking about. So I'm going to change that to 90 just because, and let's save it. And there we go. So now we have this down at the bottom rotating icon with my own text that is colored my way and has a shadow and is rotating at the speed I want. And that kind of covers how to uh, customize that alternate text that's at the bottom. And again, this is just a, um, you know, it's, it's, it's an aesthetic uh, thing. It doesn't really change anything that has to do with the gameplay, but it does actually kind of, in my opinion, add a neat uh, kind of branding to your games. And for us, when we're running games that are, are uh, kind of part of our, our, our gaming company, if you will, uh, obviously we want to brand ourselves, so this makes a whole lot of sense. But, hey, maybe it's just you uh, doing uh, some games and you do a lot of them, and maybe you just want to put your initials there or uh, whatever. I mean, you can, you can put anything that you want there, or maybe a logo. If you have a specific logo, like this is our logo is the A. So, uh, that, that certainly is something that you can use if you like, and uh, it's simple, it's easy, it's fast. It doesn't take a lot of time. And I hope this was helpful. I hope, uh, it, it obviously it's, it, it's a very short video, but, uh, and it's only aesthetic, but I thought it was cool and I thought I would go ahead and put it out there. So, uh, thank you again for being here, uh, as usual, and please, if you have not already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this video, and please remember, I, I, I asked the question at the beginning of this, this uh, video, and I'll ask it again. Just tell me, do you tend to change aesthetics on your Foundry server? Um, it, it, I mean, just, you know, it, it's something like this that literally is just aesthetic. That's all it is. Do you tend to do that for your players? Uh, I'm just curious how many people actually do that. So uh, please let me know just in the comments below, like say, yeah, I do, or no, I don't, or yeah, I do, and here's what I use, or whatever. I, I'm just curious to, to find out. I think uh, it's an interesting thing for people to know. Otherwise, uh, as always, I will tell you, when you're adventuring, be careful, be safe, and be kind. Peace.